When we first started the project with, with yourself, um, I think it's been an ever-growing beast really. When we first started it and it was just an empty field, there was scrubland and magpies flying around and it, we didn't really, I, I couldn't see what it was going to develop into. Um, but it's had a, a life of its own and it's just developed and the speed in which it's developed and all the, the different elements that have come into play have been fantastic. It's ever evolving so there's always scope for change um, you can never plan too far ahead it's a documentary you're documenting what's happening in there and now the best part of the project for me without doubt is the changes in the project and suddenly hearing that this is going to happen or this is going to happen and with the design museum kicking off now and such things like Mike buying um, George Harrison's Porsche for instance um, and the kind of the storyline that that might take I mean I see this whole project as kind of like a tree and the this the trunk is the, the growing of the core factory and the building, but there's all the branches of the different stories going off, and it's those different stories that I find interesting. I think that the way it's developed has been, it's been a journey, it's been a roller coaster, but it's been, it's been fun. My name's Martin Goddard, I'm a photographer, and I'm photographing uh, Mike Pickle's collection of cars for his uh, upcoming uh, brochure, or catalogue. Uh, which he hopes to use in the, uh, his current museum project. Well, I mean, it, the museum project is going to be um, a collection of cars and a rock and roll memorabilia, uh, two of his passions. And uh, I think he also wants to create a, an environment where kids can come in and see how things work, um, how sort of uh, people have taken ideas and developed ideas either in the music sector and in the car sector. The thing about Mike is it's, he's not a can't do, he's it will happen, you know, guy, and uh, you know, if you've got that sort of support and that sort of uh, confidence, things do happen, and they are happening, you know, which is good. I wanted to do a book called uh, uh, Rock and Roll and Fast Cars, and I just came up and gave him a proposal, I said, you know, tell me to go away if you think this is stupid, but um, can we do this book? And I, I showed him what I'd like to do, and he said, yeah, let's do it, and uh, we did it. He and I are interested in the same things, and if you're interested in the same things, um, you know, it always works, and, and, and it, he's got a very big imagination. He's, as I say, he, he wants to do things, and, and when you meet someone like that, it's great. So this is my friend, the photographer. Hello, Hi, Hi, Martin. Hi, this is Mr. Sam. I'm Martin. So Mr. Sam uh, speaks no English. He's from, uh, from China and Hong Kong. Right. Kevin is no the Chinese. translator. <laughs> oh. You don't know. <laughs> so, 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 Hong Kong. Yeah. But I gave Mr. Sam your book in China hmm. of the uh, oh, rock good. and roll and fast cars. not a million miles away from put it to bed we've got one or two but well, we've got two items that need ticking off this is really a turnkey a turnkey one isn't it someone's you're going to give me the keys and it's going to be finished ready to move things in other than put the racking in the in the showroom and hang the pictures and put the cars in position i don't think there's anything else that we need to there's no more incremental expenditure. Right. Anything else? Right, so I'm happy on that, so thank you for uh, thank you for that. Can we keep some of these? Today is the start of the renovation of the Volvo 1800S. So the sentimentality is connected to my youth and Simon Templar. It was a time that, you know, we, you know, as a family, we probably didn't have a car. And Simon Templar, as played by Roger Moore, it was. He was the secret agent. This was his car, it was a white car. I think it was a, bl a, a blood red interior that they, that they had onto it and it was very much the stylish car of the secret agent. In my mind's eye, I was gonna convert this car to the Simon Templar car 
in the colours, but now I've seen that it's an original colour and the bodywork is in great condition, I'm going to keep it exactly how it is. The bodywork looks great, the chrome not so good, the seating not so good, but it's all recoverable. So I think it's going to have a budget of probably less than £7,000 to get it looking right. I think a car that is in great condition uh, of this car now is probably about £30,000. I bought it from American Auctions. Uh, I can't remember where I got it from now. Uh, it was... I can't remember the location. I bought it blind off the internet or off uh, internet selling. But actually, it's all connected with an auction house that I know. 